So today we are going to learn about symbiotic relationship. So as a first example, we are going to learn about lichens. Lichens are symbiotic associations between a fungus, the fungal partner we call it as mycobion, and the algal partner that is especially the cyanobacterial members we call it as phycobion. So the lichen members can grow on dry bare rock because of that capacity, it can able to break down the bare rock, allowing other simple plants to grow. So this is a picture of lichen that is a symbiotic association between the fungal partner mycobion and an algal partner phycobion. So let me see the types of uh, lichens. This is the first type, crustose lichen. Second one is folios lichen. Third one is fruticose. Fourth, the last one is squamulose lichen. And uh, let me see the structure, how the association look like. So here it has a three layer. The upper layer is upper cortex and lower layer is the lower cortex, which is made up of profusely branched fungal hyphae in between a region called medulla, where the alkyl partner is being trapped by the fungal hyphae. This is how, if you take the section, the lichen symbiotic partnership look like. And this is the section of uh, second type of lichen that is fruticose lichen. Here you could able to see the upper cortex and lower cortex, which is made up of profusely branched fungal hyphal partner and in between the medullary region, medulla region where the fungal hyphae is loosely packed along with the algal partner that is a photobiont. And this is how the section of crustose folios and fruticose lichen look like. If you take the section of crustose lichen, it has upper cortex and lower cortex is absent. That's why the name is given crustose. It is not, it is not having the lower surface. So in between it is having the medullary region where it is having the algae. Then second one, that is a folios lichen. So folios lichen, it is highly lobed structure. It is having upper cortex and lower cortex, which is made up of profusely branched fungal partner. In between, it is having the medullary region where the algal members are trapped inside the hyphae and it has rhizines also. And third type, that is a fruticose lichen. There is no upper and lower cortex here. It is having only the cortex. There is no differentiation of upper and lower cortex here. So simply the cortex region is present in the fruticose lichen. And it has medullary region where it is profusely branched by the fungal partner where the algal members are trapped inside. And coming to the partnership of algae and fungi. So I told you algae partner, we call it as photobion. So majority of the algae having the partnership as in lichen with fungal member, especially the green algae, that is a chlorophyzin members, especially the triboxia. This is how the unicellular triboxia look like, a green algal member. It is a common genus found in 75% of lichen association, especially in the temperate zone. In addition to the chlorophyzin, Phygian members triboxia, cyanobacteria also reported, especially the nostoc, that is the filamentous unbranched blue-green algae. That is also one common genus reported in the association of lichen. 25 genera of lichen, among the 25 genera of lichen, 15 genera are reported from the blue-green algal member. 90 percentage of lichen contain triboxia as a green algae. It has a symbiotic association with the fungi. Only 8 percentage is consumed by the cyanobacteria, that is especially the nostoc. Then moving on to the mycobion, the fungal partner, we call it as mycobion here. So most lichenized fungi are ascomycotina members fungi. So these ascomycotina members forms a fruiting body, especially apotheca. Some form peritica and pseudotheca, but majority of the fungal partner, that is a mycobion, is by ascomycotina fungal members. So 12 orders among the ascomycotina. Among the 12 orders, four orders, especially that Arthoneomyces, Eurotiomyces, Leuconomyces, and Lyconomyces. These four orders among the 12 orders coming under Ascomycotina found mostly lichenized members in the partner as mycobion. In addition to Ascomycotina fungi, some Basidiomycotina fungi also reported, especially Agaricus, and few Deutromycotina, which is commonly called fungi imperfecti, also reported. So 20% of composition consists of all the majority of the fungi, 40% of fungal partner that is a mycobiont is 
taking by the ascomycotina fungi so this is how the 20% of all fungal members and 40% majority of ascomycotina fungal members are lichenized as a mycobiome part then coming to the thallus morphology i told you about four types of lichen crustose lichen folios lichen fruticose lichen and squamulose lichen let me see the thallus morphology the first one is crustose lichen if you see the crustose lichen these are some pictures i have given you for an example it is a flattened structure that's why there is no lower cortex i told you in the previous slide it is a flattened structure scale like no lower surface tightly bounded to the substratum like a scale it is tightly bounded to the substratum the second type is folios lichen it is also flattened it has branching lobe attached to the lower surface it has both upper and lower cortex if you take a section it has both upper and lower cortex it has a basal substratum the upper cortex it forms a highly branched lobe like structure if you take a section it is anatomically similar to a angiospermic leaf like structure this is how the folios thallus morphology look like then third one is fruticose lichen it is highly branched strap shaped or thread like thallus either it can be in the upright position or hanging usually pendulous highly feathery in nature so that's why the name is given fruticose as i told you if you take a section there is no upper and lower cortex it is only named as cortex there is no differentiation in the medullary region it is trapped with the algal members then fourth one the last one that is squamulose lichen it is the morphology is intermediate between folios and fruticose so if you take the structure of some members of squamulose see the structure here it is like a crustose lichen there is no lower surface if you take other members of squamulose lichen it is the lobed structure but if you compare the lobe with the folios lichen here it is very small so squamulose lichen that is the intermediate thallus structure between folios and crustos lichen then coming to the reproduction in lichen lichen can able to reproduce us by three modes first one is vegetative second one is asexual third one is sexual reproduction so vegetative reproduction happens by three modes first by fragmentation second and third by production of some special kind of structures we call it as isidia and solidia then second one is asexual mode of reproduction so here also it can able to produce some special kind of spores especially by the fungal partner idiospores conidiospores and pycniospores sexual reproduction also take part only by the fungal partner that is a mycobiome here it can able to produce as a sex organs male sex organ we call it as spermogonia female sex organ we call it as carpogonia and fruiting body especially it can able to produce either apothecium or perithecium let me see in detail so asexual reproduction i told you first by fragmentation this is how from the lichen thallus if it accidentally breaks each fragment when it fall on the suitable substrate it can able to grow into a new lichen thallus by the process of fragmentation this is one mode of vegetative reproduction so second one by the formation of soridia soridia is nothing but an algal cell being entrapped by some fungal hyphae it produces a spore kind of structure we call it a soridia this is how it looked like so the green portion is by the photobiont the packing of algal cell along with the fungal hyphae produces a spore kind of structure we call it a soridia the soridia are disseminated by air wherever it falls on the suitable substrate it uh, produces a new lichen thallus this is the second kind of vegetative mode of reproduction by soridia and third one i told you isidia isidia are nothing but the column shaped cell produces by lichen these are the column shaped cell these also sometimes can detach from the lichen thallus wherever it fall it goes into a new lichen thallus then coming to the sexual reproduction sexual reproduction i told you it produces by spores if the fungal partner is ascomycotina fungus after reproduction it produces ascospores if it is by basidiomycotina fungus it produces basidiospores so here the fungal partner take part in the sexual reproduction it produces two sex organ one is male sex organ another one is female sex organ male sex organ we call it as spermogonium which produces a germ cell spermatia female sex organ we call it as carpogonium that is having the functional nuclei let me clear with this slide so here 
in the spermoconia that is the male sex organ which produces spermation it is present in the upper cortex and the carpoconium it consists of two parts here the basal part is highly coiled ascoconium and the top portion that is the erect straight trichocaine what happens during fertilization the spermoconium that is also flask shape which is present in the upper cortex when the sperms mature uh during the maturation time what happened the flash shaped structures of spermoconium it has opening at the tip of the flask that opening we call it as ostium so once the sperm cell mature it releases the spermatia the trichogyne at the time it produces some mucilaginous substances to attract the sperm cell once the sperm cells are attracted towards the trichogyne it enters into the female gamete the sperm cell enters into the female gamete and it fuses with the functional nuclei and it forms a zygote so after zygote it undergo reduction division and produces the ascospores if it is by ascomycotina fungi or basidiospore if it produces by basidiomycotina fungi so hope you understood this content thank you all